So we have some open video slots. You got any crazy ideas? Building a PC while parachuting. What about building a PC while in an airplane? What about building PC on top of the roof? Ooh, what about building a PC at Walmart? No, what about like a Whole Foods PC? Man, it's really hard to come up with these ideas nowadays. Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're doing the absolute, absolute most insane build we've ever done. So insane that our new table can't even fit all of the parts. This is our Taco Bell Baja Blast gaming PC. And if you don't know the Toasty Bros, we have an obsession with Taco Bell. It's kind of a once a week or maybe twice a week affair. So we thought, you know what? Let's make a gaming PC around Baja Blast and Taco Bell. And uh, maybe Taco Bell will notice us. Please notice us, please. But before we dive into this build, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our company, PCBros.Tech, and all the awesome gaming PCs you can buy from us. So even this build right here will actually be for sale. We do all kinds of crazy custom builds. We also sell cheap things like tablets, peripherals, laptops, monitors. We have an actual in-store location that we do giveaways and all kinds of cool events and meetups at. So if you always wanted to buy a PC that you see on the channel or a custom one-off that's specifically tailored to your needs, check the link down below and use code TOSIBROS2 on checkout to save 2%. And we don't want you to see the final result today's video so stay tuned and see this custom loop in action. So we are super excited to finally be able to do this and a lot of this is made possible by ASRock with the Z690 Aqua Board. These things are absolutely insane. We have never actually gotten to use one. Long story short, $1,100 at times for these motherboards. Uh, you really can't beat them and it is the heaviest motherboard I've ever felt. They also sent over the DDR5 RAM and we decided to buy some more to make this build beautiful. And of course our friends at V1 Tech were nice enough to hook us up with some awesome graphics which we'll see here in a minute. We're kind of going for a Baja Blast colored theme. We even got the cool to match that, which we'll talk about here in a second. And then we're also gonna have some Taco Bell accents here and there, like the Taco Bell logo, some black colors here and there, but it's gonna be a really clean PC build inside the O11 Dynamics. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just go over the core components here, because we have a lot on this table. And then we're just gonna put this thing together and talk more about how the process went. So for the processor, we have the Intel i9-12900K. There is not any better processor out right now. So we're super excited to have 16 cores and 24 threads. And normally here's where I talk about and to cool it, but the thing is there's a lot of stuff to cool this because the actual board itself basically has a water block built into it. So we're going to be using this Corsair XD5, and this is a reservoir that's RGB, very beautiful. You don't even have to get one of these. You can actually make a lot of things work if you really wanted to. We have this to go with it, an IQ Commander Core XT that's gonna help out everything here because Matt will be going over all the crazy fans and stuff we have. And we have this Thermaltake PETG, which looks just like this. It's not glass, it might look like it, but it's basically a flexible plastic of sorts and you just use a heat gun to bend it. We do have a full uh, bending kit. Oh, it's right in front of me. It's the <laughs> Pacific Hardware Tubing Bending Kit. We have a lot of different fittings here. I went ahead and got some 90s, some straight ons. We got Thermaltake and then we also have these oh, cool ones as well. And of course, we have to have a radiator. So we got a Corsair. This is the XR5 360, just a basic 360 mil. We do have these two different Primo Chill coolants here. And you might be wondering, why do we have two? We have Toxic Candy, we have Sky Blue. We found that if we mix these together, we get a very beautiful Baja Blast color. This is pretty insane. We have four sticks of 64 gigs total. They're 16 gig dims, and this is the Kingston Fury, 5600 mega DDR5, and it's CL40, so that's some pretty decent speed. For storage, we have this Team Group Cardia A440. It's a one terabyte NVMe Gen 4 SSD, because of course you gotta get the latest and greatest for a build like this. And you're to see this beautiful motherboard in a minute, but this is the ASRock Z690 Aqua. They always come out with an Aqua board for their highest end lineup each series. And yeah, this thing is insane. I mean, at almost $1,100 when it launched, you really can't beat it. People scalp these things for like two grand because if you really want the best of the best, this is it right here. For the GPU, of course, we had to go with an RTX 3080. And this is the Hydro Copper, the XC3. It comes with a block already, so you don't have to worry about getting a block. It's all ready to go. Just add your fittings and tubing and you're good to go. It's a 3080. It's one of the best cards on the market. Of course, there are better cards out there, but you know what? This was a really good priced one that we didn't have to, you know, spend an arm and a leg to actually get. And for the power supply, good old EVJ 850 GA Supernova, high quality power supply, 850 watts. You can go overkill if you want to, but we here at the Toast Bros don't like to waste our money on power supplies when we don't have to. And uh, yeah, this is still a very good unit while not getting crazy wattage amounts that you don't necessarily need. Now for the fans, this is kind of hard to hold, but these are SP120 RGB Elite fans. We have nine of them right here. Not sure exactly what we're going to do in terms of how we're going to run the fans, because we have some V1 tech stuff that I'll show you here in a second. But the O11 Dynamic definitely supports all these fans on the bottom, on the side, on the top. But we also have some graphics from our friends of V1 tech who make some really awesome, basically custom acrylic pieces. I'll 
go ahead and show you one of them. I don't want to spoil the entire thing here, but we have a GPU backplate, this astronaut and a uh, basically frozen Baja Blast there. Really cool graphics. And this is kind of the color scheme we're going for. It's a light blue Baja Blast color with a little bit of purple black. It's going to look really, really clean. And uh, yeah, sleep cables. I forgot to mention that they're somewhere. They're white sleep cables. We really didn't want to gamble and get a color that was close to what we were looking for and it'd be totally off. So we just went with white because it'll blend in nicely to this build. Big disclaimer, this is not a build guide. This is our first time doing something like this. So we're really just going to make a really cool PC for you all to drool at when we get some really nice B-roll at the end. So let's see how long this actually takes us. Yo quiero a new computer, but in order to make it run, we need to head to Taco Bell and have a little fun. And once we have arrived at every drunk guy's favorite venue, we'll have to find the only thing that's never taken off the menu. It's Matt and Jackson, the Toasty Bros, a couple of PC building pros. No one knows why they do it, but they do it oh so well. In case you never thought to ask, the PC runs on Baja Blast. It's the Epic Gamer secret sauce, and the Doctor Freak and All right guys, we're now playing Halo, the notorious brand new Halo at 4K. We have a minimum frame rate of 60 unlocked and then we're on high settings. Basically maxed out minus one or two things for some reason, that's medium. Oh, oh God. Man, you just got close. Oh, steely ship, not for the win. <gasps> He's hiding that. <laughs> oh. oh, he threw a grenade off himself. Don't touch that, don't touch <gasps> Oh, you got the spanker. I almost screwed up. All right, I didn't want to waste my spank on him. Did you want to spank that oh, guy? That guy I got almost really screwed up. Spank. That was a double kill. <laughs> See, if I was good, I would have made that hit both of them. We're going crazy, oh, we're going crazy. Oh. No overclocking. I mean, this is a K processor and this thing's full liquid cooled loop. So, I mean, this is the ideal overclocking build, I would say. He's just one from being really good. To, how do I, I don't know how to punch. If you guys haven't tried out Halo, by the way, free to play multiplayer, very fun, very satisfying. Wait, was that guy not dead? Dude, these guys cannot touch my spanky messing with me. Oh, that was. Oh, no! I shouldn't. I just should have shot again. Yeah, you should have shot again. Dude, what is that? I like this gun. I don't really even understand what it is. It's like an alien shotgun, kind of. Oh. Oh, vaporize. No, don't. No, no. Oh, oh no! I missed the fun. Oh, my God, he almost had it. Dude, I hate this gun that this guy keeps somehow finding. It's like literally hacks. Ooh, Halo performance, absolutely beautiful. 4K, I mean, what more could you ask for? Ah! Uh... All right, gamers, we're gonna run some built-in benchmarks real quick just to show you worst case scenario. We're absolutely stressing this thing at 4K. Cyberpunk is a very demanding game. The built-in benchmark even ultra, as you can see right here, 40 to 50 FPS. 4K, very hard to run. If you're wanting to get max 4K settings in most games, you're looking at like a 3090, realistically. As you can see, it's still gonna be playable. You can lower things to 4K or play at 1440p. And uh, we'll see what the average is once it's done. And then we're gonna move over to Forza 5 real quick. So we got an average of 52 FPS. Again, a very demanding benchmark. It's kind of what I expected with this PC, especially at 4K. Let's run Forza real quick. We're running the Ultra Preset Forza Horizon 5 built-in benchmark, and we're gonna see what kind of FPS we can get. Getting about 90 to 100 FPS on Ultra settings, not extreme, extreme as well, extreme. You know, you can run extreme if you want to, but we're at 4K, and uh, yeah, those temperatures, man. I, I really, I just love seeing a GPU running at like 45C, 46C under 99% load. Normally at that point on like a normal air cooler, you'd be looking at like 65, 70C, so. Pretty impressive to see what a custom loop can do. Let's see what the average is. And look at that, an average of 89 FPS. Overall, this Taco Bell PC, obviously it's gonna perform very well. The specs are awesome. The main thing we wanted to see were the temperatures and the temperatures are pretty solid as well. Overall, this is a very fun experiment. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this custom loop. Let's just wrap this video up real quick.
All right, guys, so we just finished benchmarking this PC, and yeah, I mean, one of the best performers we've definitely built. Uh, at 4K settings, we were able to max out every game you threw at it, and the biggest temp we saw was maybe 70C, and that was on the CPU, and naturally, having the loop running in a serial uh, configuration, you're going to get that because all the hot coolant from the GPU goes to the CPU, and then it gets cooled, but still great temps. So hopefully Taco Bell sees this PC because you know what? We love ourselves some Taco Bell, and I think this turned out absolutely beautifully, so let us know down below what you think of it and uh, be sure to check out all the parts in the description if you're interested in picking any of this stuff up. Uh, V1 Tech was very awesome in providing all the awesome graphics and you can get your own awesome graphics for your next gaming PC by checking the link down below. So as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. So if you guys didn't know, we do have all kinds of social medias and not just for Toasty Bros. We also have PC Bro social media where we post lots of cool builds like this and also lots of cool discounts of promo codes. And on top of that, we got TikTok. We're kind of famous on there. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We got it all. All of them are located in the description down below. If you can't get enough of the Toasty Bros or PC Bros, follow all those social media platforms. See you guys later. Goodbye.